Hey, welcome back to Fits5 channel. So we're in the back right here from Nightcore. This is their BB23. And you can tell from the name, this is a 23 liter backpack. And so it has some interesting dimensions. Uh, it is 18, about 18 and a half inches long or tall, should I say, about 11 and a half wide, and then just under six inches uh, thick. And so it's not a very fat backpack. Uh, it's more tall, wide, but kind of on the slimmer side. Right now I don't have, I have the, some of the front of, um, pockets I have some stuff in there, but the actual backpack is empty. Um, and so you can see it's it's pretty slim. Uh, it'll be more about like this perhaps uh, with it being full. All right, so a couple things I wanna point out. Um, right here they have the Molly straps down towards the bottom. And so this kind of gives them options to um, add on to this or strap things to it. it as Molly straps on either side, just like this. You have just the three strands there, like you said right here. And the interesting also on the very bottom of the backpack also, you see you got some molly straps. And again, same thing, just for attaching uh, things. Make sure you can get uh, everything attached that you want the way you want to carry it. And talking about weight of, of carrying it, it also has a bunch of different handles. So you have at the top and the bottom, you have handles. Uh, kind of make it easier to carry this, grab this. Then also on each side, you see you got a handle right here along the side. And this kind of helps like, if you're reaching around, you want to pull your backpack in front of you or something like that. Um, and of course, on this side, identically, it has also a handle right here. So grab it onto the side of that. On the back, it's kind of the standard, what you'd expect uh, from a backpack. Um, so it has these padded uh, shoulder straps. Uh, they're not removable, which in this case, I don't know that they would need to be. It does have uh, the buckle right here. So if you want to take this off and you can't get it off your shoulder, which has happened to me a couple of times wearing a, a big coat, basically you can take this buckle and you can unsnap it that way. One of the things I like that uh, Nightcore has done, also their previous backpacks, and they've done here too, is that the shoulder strap uh, is removable. And so if you don't want to have the shoulder strap like hanging in front of you, like tapping against your chest as you walk, uh, this is actually pretty easy to remove. Basically, you just slide that up and then back down, and then that comes off. And then basically, you can toss this inside your backpack uh, in case you wanted to, to reattach it later. All right. And then another thing right here in the very back, it's kind of subtle, but right here you have. And a little strap, and so if you like you were traveling with this, you want to hang your backpack on your uh, luggage, you can slide your handle through this. It has a Velcro in the middle, so it'll snap down into place, or should I say not snap, no, but stick down into place. So pretty cool. Uh, for the back, it basically just has, you see, like these two squares, and it's a soft, meshy uh, material here for venting, kind of give you, um, kind of keep your back cool. Um, it doesn't have, sometimes you see they have like, more like, um, like some grooves or some lines in there, but this one, it's actually pretty flat. Also on the inside of the uh, shoulder strap, you see the exact same material. Again, just to kind of help you uh, not be as sweaty carrying the backpack. All right, so as far as for pockets go, um, there's a bunch of different options here. And I like to have right here in the front, there's a uh, easily accessed compartment, kind of at a 45 degree angle, kind of unique design there. It makes it easy to carry some, um, some different stuff in there that you want to easily access. And so I kind of I kind of see this backpack more like an urban carry. Um, it's not gonna be like full of like survival gear or whatever else like that. That's why the, one of the reasons why the inside of the backpack is gonna be mostly empty um, because I would want it to be empty so I could carry clothes or whatever I want to carry for that day or for that trip. But anyway, to the front, I'll show you what I've slid in here. So since it is winter right now, I have some hand warmers. These are hot snaps. If you've never seen them, these are super cool. It's like a liquid. And then on the inside, you'll find like this little metal, almost like a coin. What you do is you just pop that little coin like this, and you'll see a reaction starts happening. And so this liquid turns into something solid like this, and it starts heating up. And so the nice thing about that is um, as a hand warmer, you don't have to end up tossing it. And it's not gonna end up in like a landfill or whatever. You actually, um, you boil this until it turns back into a liquid like this. And so I've reused these several times already. So it's a really cool uh, thing to carry, for like winter carry. All right, then also I have some goo gel, just in case I need something quick to eat. I need some energy. This carry has a bunch of protein and stuff like that. And also with it being a winter time, I have uh, this emergency poncho. So if it does get into some bad weather, like some rain or some snow, I can easily cover myself, cover my backpack. All right, and then also in here I have this little pocket, um, basically it's like a pocket organizer, pocket pouch. So this is the, the Nightcore NPP-10. And so I just slid a couple um, 
really basic EDC uh, items in here. Got a little pry tool, got a flashlight here, and then the right and the rain pad. On the inside, we have also some more, like a lighter. We have a small little Leatherman, and yeah, basically a bunch of small stuff like that. I have my, my Knipex uh, Cobra XS pliers. So anyways, just a small little uh, pocket organizer. It makes it easy. And with it being in the front pocket, I can easily swing the backpack around, open this up, access this, and I have access to some simple EDC gear here. And then there's the Nightcore uh, NTP31 ink pen. So a bunch of cool stuff. And like I said, what I like about this pocket is just that how easy it is to access it just by swinging that around, grabbing that. All right, then up here on the top, um, you also have some Velcro, you see? Came with a new patch. I'm not sure if all the backpacks do with this one. That I got came with this new patch. It's got like the little tiger there and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Nothing that I've attached. Uh, this is the Nightcore uh, NU06LE. And it's basically like a beacon light. And I've showed this on some different backpacks before. Uh, basically, you turn this on and you can have, there's a bunch of different lights to it. You have red, it's like green, blue. You can have where it's red and blue, uh, kind of like, like a police. You have a, a, uh, just a, a white LED light. And you can show these where they stay on, where they blink on and stuff. But the cool thing about it is that it has a bunch of different um, attachments like this. So I think on the previous backpack, I attached it on the Molly strap. Whereas in this case, I just attached it right to the Velcro. And so you get on the nice and tight and it stays really well. And then if you're in the city, if it's dark, if you're in a bicycle or whatever, you can turn this on, make sure that you get noted and you can be seen on the road. All right, this top compartment, um, I have in here a small little power bank. So this is a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. It's really slim. One of the things I really like about that, got some cables for that. But then the thing about this pocket right here is it's got a really soft, kind of felt material. You see that really well. But anyways, like if you were to put your, your phone in there or your sunglasses, it's gonna help keep it uh, from getting scratched up and stuff. But again, for me, uh, it's just a perfect size, a perfect location to carry a power bank because that's one of the things that commonly is needed. All right, so moving on, next thing here is this opens up and then you have the front compartment. And this is where I'm gonna have some more uh, items that I've placed. Let's this way, make sure we can get everything into the picture. All right, so one of the things that um, I'll point out now and I'll point out again later is I really like that they've added the orange on the inside. Uh, it really makes a nice contrast to the black outside and it really helps uh, identifying your, your items or whatever you have stored in here. Uh, whereas like if you have a black on black, then the inside of the backpack, you know, it's just, it's everything gets lost. All right, so it has um, these pockets right here that are really cool because you, you'd look, it seems like it's just one pocket, but actually it's two pockets that go under each other. So for example, I have this little survival guide book. Uh, if you haven't seen this before, this is the SAS survival guide. It's a pocket edition, really cool little um, survival guide, perfect size, uh, great way to fresh up some, some of your skills while you're killing time. But anyways, you would think if I push this all the way through, that it would come out this side, but you can maybe see right here the silhouette of the book. These are actually uh, two different pockets right on top of each other. And so it kind of gives you some more um, opportunities to organize. I have a little set of small Uno cards, again, with, out with friends, and help kill it some time. And on this side, I have uh, the like the Colgate Wisp, like some small little travel toothbrush. All right, so that's a really cool design they have here. Uh, this material is also really soft, but I did notice that also uh, it, you could stick some Velcro to it. You see right here, they stick this. All right, so if you had something small uh, with Velcro, like your own little pouch or whatever you want to attach, that'd be easy to attach right here. Then on this uh, large pocket, what I've done is I have uh, put in their sling bag. So this is the Nightcore SLB04. That just sent this bag with the backpack, um, which you know naturally they don't <laughs> sell it that way. It's just the way they send it to me so I could show both of them. It's just a really simple little sling bag, um, not padded at all, not thick. Everywhere it's a, a really thin material. It's a waterproof material. And the zippers are also, you can see, waterproof. And then it has a small zipper in the front and a small zipper in the back. I'm sorry, a large zipper in the back. So three compartments. And so cool thing about this is you can easily fit this into the backpack, uh, just in case you need some extra carrying space. 
since it's not padded, it's such a light material, you can literally roll this up and slide it into places. But anyways, um, it does have shoulder straps in here. They're really thin. As you can see right here, these are really thin uh, shoulder straps. And it's getting really close borderline to a man purse, in my opinion. Uh, this can also be attached if you want. You could attach this to the bottom of the backpack, because right here you have some little loops. And so if you want, you could attach it here and here. It would hang there. I don't know, it might look a little strange. You could also attach this to the uh, shoulder straps in the front. It'd be kind of like, uh, like a chest pouch. Again, I wouldn't really carry it that way, um, just because it, it kind of looked awkward you know, like in an urban environment. But anyways, I currently slid it right in there in case I need some extra space uh, for carrying something. Then in the front, I've slid in a simple little medical uh, pack here, which is basically just, just some band-aids, some Pepto-Bismol, some painkillers, some of the compressed towels. But anyways, you have this, um, this mesh pocket in the front uh, so you can place some stuff in there. And mesh is always cool because you can see what's on the inside. You don't have to try to remember where you've placed everything. Another thing, let me open this back up, that I want to point out is I really love backpacks that open up all the way because it makes it so simple to organize, so simple to access your stuff. Whereas backpacks that only open up like halfway and then you have like reach in there and stuff, they're really inconvenient. And so I like, I like that this front pocket does that. And then the next pocket, which we'll be getting into next, is the same thing where it opens up all the way flat, making it super convenient. All right, so this kind of slid around while I was demonstrating the dimensions there. Anyways, so here you can see the exact same thing where uh, the inside of the backpack has this nice bright orange color. Uh, like I said, this is basically empty. And so you can see if I kind of lift it up like that, maybe you can tell a little bit better the actual size of it. Um, like I said, it's not a very fat backpack. It is tall, it is wide. And so anyways, with this orange, like I've already said, it makes it easy to, when you open it up to see things, to find things, you know, they're not, it's not black on black. Um, and so I really love the orange. Here in the front, you have a large uh, mesh pocket again. Same advantage there, being able to see what you have. Then you have two small mesh pockets here in the front. And um, again, that makes it really easy. Over in the corner, on both sides, you have basically kind of like a water, uh, kind of like pocket there, you carry a water bottle. Or what I've slid in over here is actually, it's a uh, Star Esso, it's a coffee maker. And so basically it takes, you can put either coffee grinds in there, or you can use these Nespresso pods and so it's really cool, like on the go, uh, if you want like coffee, all you need is some hot water. You pour that into here. And then this on the top comes open and it's a pump. I'll show it like this, you can understand. As you pump it and it creates the pressure, it goes through and it makes a really strong cup, cup of coffee. And so pretty cool. Something that I would carry around often, or be, uh, like an urban setup. All right, like I said, this is basically empty. Uh, right here I have slid in just a small little tablet this front pocket and then back here you have a laptop pouch which is padded uh, right here to kind of protect your backpack I'm sorry <laughs> to protect your laptop so this is a 13 inch uh, but this laptop pouch actually uh, supports up to a 15.6 inch and so kind of a medium-sized laptop all right and then over here I just slid in the um, basically this is the night core uh, this is their NTH10. I'm sorry, it's MH12S. I read that off of the, yeah, off the holster. So it's just a brighter flashlight. Uh, so in case, again, if I'm in town, it's dark, you know, I got a nice bright flashlight that I can use. Um, I wanted to carry this on the inside of the backpack instead of the outside because it's an urban setup. Um, I didn't want to have like uh, black tactical uh, flashlights hanging off my backpack. Uh, it just creates an awkward situation sometimes when you're in an urban environment. All right, so anyways, uh, this is a 23 liter backpack. And so quite a few space, quite a, quite a bit of space here. I actually took this on a trip not too long ago. It was a three, a three day trip. And I was able to fit all my clothes I needed, everything I needed. And so definitely worked well for me with the size and everything. So anyways, uh, this backpack costs $60. So I'll include a link to this uh, in the description of the video. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. Uh, let me know what you think about it. What you think about the whole setup. Uh, let me know what you think about some of the, the gear that I chose to carry. 
Uh, like I said, I didn't pack this out for a bug out bag or whatever else. It's just some really simple stuff that I would carry uh, in an urban setup. So anyways, let me think, let me know what you think about that. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.